Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rattle Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at the newest release by the company John Barbados and this one is called John Barbados 20 or XX. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of John Varvato's XX or 20, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, whenever I do publish these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. So here we have the brand new John Varvatos fragrance. I paid full retail for this. I bought it from Nordstrom's website and it arrived a few days ago and I've been spending some time with it, getting to know it better. And sure enough, I do think it's the type of fragrance that would lend itself towards the colder weather. So I will find myself wearing this quite often in the next few months, especially considering the fact that I find it to be a pretty good office scent as well. So it's an inoffensive, clean sort of fragrance that is inspired by an aesthetic that a lot of John Varvatos' previous fragrances were also inspired by. It's inspired by music, it's inspired by rock and roll, it's inspired by style. And this fragrance also has a pretty interesting note breakdown. So it has cardamom, it has orange flower, white violet, cedarwood, sandalwood, red apple, black currant, coffee, a lot of really interesting notes in there. And I was wondering what that interplay would be like between the coffee and the red apple. And there were some fragrances that came to mind when I initially read the note breakdown. And maybe I was able to make a bit of a connection after I smelled it as well. So this is to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the company. I think they did another such fragrance uh, during their 10th anniversary special edition, which I think was the same as the platinum edition. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I own that fragrance as well. I've actually purchased a couple bottles of that fragrance in the past and I'm a huge fan of the line. I have so many of their fragrances. I have Artisan, Artisan Aqua, I have Artisan Pure, I have Vintage, I have the original. I have pretty much everything that they've put out except for Crimson. That's the only one that I don't own, although I'm quite familiar with it as well. In any case, I'm excited to tell you my thoughts on this fragrance. Let's start with the presentation. So here's the box for John Varvatos XX. This one is Eau de Toilette Concentration, 2.5 ounce. I opted for the smaller size. And then you have the design of this pendant here on the front. The serial number is printed in black ink below the UPC. And as far as the bottle goes, I really like the look of this pendant here on the front. Really nice detail. Unfortunately, there's a, a black plastic piece here, a little ring that holds it in place. And mine came broken. I guess it rattled around a little bit too much during shipping. You know, I think this is an isolated incident though. So unfortunately I am using one of my wife's hair ties to hold it in place for this review, but I really like the detailing on it. And I also like this studded look uh, around the perimeter of the cap here. XX is written into the cap and there's a sticker with all of your information at the bottom. The cap for this fragrance does not click into place. So please do not pick this up from the cap. And the distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. Now in the very opening of the fragrance, you're going to get this bright red apple note. And the apple brings with it a form of sweetness that I think is really nice and it's very pleasant. And I think it's the type of sweetness that will appeal to a much younger demographic and a more youthful crowd. It's a very pleasant sweetness, but it's not a plain sweetness. And I say that because it is accented by some spicy notes. So you have the cardamom in here. You have this pepperiness that's coming presumably from the cedar wood that's resting in the base. And you also have a little bit of that coffee note that was spoken about earlier on in the review. And I think it's the combination of that sweetness from the apple and the coffee that kind of puts me in the mindset of some of the Polo Red fragrances. Now, if you're familiar with Polo Red Intense, Red Rush, Red Extreme, whatever they're named, I know there's been a bunch over the past few years, many of which, if not all of which, I've reviewed on my channel. This is kind of in that family, right? So it's sweet, but it also has that spiciness to sort of tone down that sweet edge. So it's a nice counterbalance. I think you're also gonna get a little bit of that cedar wood from the base. Like I said, it has that peppery accent. 
And I don't really get much sandalwood to say, uh, just because sandalwood to me has this creamy sweet sort of a vibe. And while the sweetness is there, the creaminess is not. So I'm not really inclined to say I get a whole lot of sandalwood. And I know that in the case of white violet, I guess there is a purity that comes along with it. For me, violet, in the way that it's done in fragrances like Dior Fahrenheit, it can come across smelling like asphalt or petroleum. You, you know, you've heard a lot of these things. And I don't get a petroleum vibe from this. So that's why I'm inclined to say it's probably of the cleaner variety of violet. But nothing about this smells floral, which is interesting because it also has this orange flower note in the heart, according to the note breakdown on Nordstrom and I think Dillard's website because it's available uh, at both uh, retailers. So mostly what you're gonna get from this is a red apple type of a fragrance with a darker edge. And that darker edge is lended to the fragrance by notes of coffee and cardamom. At no point does it smell like Turkish coffee though. <laughs> you know, and I've had some cardamom based coffees in the past and they're delightful. I'm drinking my coffee at the moment. But to be honest with you, I don't feel like it's that strong of an accent that it takes away from the sweetness that is provided to this fragrance by the red apple and the black currant. So what kind of a fragrance do I expect this to be? And how do I expect that people will perceive or receive this fragrance? I think that a younger demographic will be pleasantly surprised by the sweetness of it. I think somebody who's perhaps a little bit older, early 30s, just like me, I think they will appreciate that darker contrast with the coffee and the spices. I don't think that it's a fragrance that is ultra niche quality or too experimental is what I'm trying to say with that designation. It's not too experimental that it pushes any envelopes or uh, you know it tries to jump over any boundaries. I think it still plays it relatively safe. So despite the fact that it has those darker accents, I don't think the coffee is overly rich. I don't think the cardamom is overly spicy. So it still plays it stay safe in many ways. And I think that it's also the type of fragrance that I would expect a company like Hugo Boss to put out. And also, like I mentioned earlier, if you are a fan of a lot of the Polo Red fragrances by Ralph Lauren, it's kind of in the vein of those fragrances as well. I know more recently I smelled a few of the um, John Varvatos and Nick Jonas collaborations, and I'm also picking up on some similarity between this fragrance and some of those fragrances. So ultimately, it is a type of fragrance that I've smelled before but that doesn't take away from the pleasantness of the fragrance. I still think that in many ways it is a very pleasant release and I'm hoping more people have the opportunity to check it out, especially if you have a chance to visit one of these retailers that are carrying the fragrance. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I don't find this to be a super unique fragrance in the sense that it uses a DNA that I have smelled in a few other fragrances in the past. So I've experienced it in like the Polo Red collection and a lot of Hugo Boss fragrances. I know some have this spicy apple cinnamony thing going on in there. And I would imagine that on account of the sweetness that this one brings forth, that's what's allowing that click to happen in my mind and that connection to these other fragrances that I've smelled in the past. But it is a very pleasant smelling fragrance. It's different from your Bleu de Chanel's and Dior Sauvages of the world. So if you're tired of the Ambroxan heavy citrus laden fragrances out there, you might wanna go ahead and check this one out. But just keep in mind it is in the wheelhouse or in the family of some of these other fragrances that I mentioned earlier on in the review. In terms of the longevity, expect six to seven hours on your skin. Projection was great for the first hour. Uh, and then it started radiating radiating, excuse me, within an elbow's length for like the next two or three hours. It didn't fully become a skin scent until about that five and a half to six hour mark, but it's not a beast mode performer, but you will get noticed when you wear this one. And it's not as light as Artisan Blue or Artisan Aqua, or some of those lighter variations in the Aqua line or in the Artisan line, I should say, excuse me. In terms of the versatility for this one, I find it to be quite versatile. I think it's season appropriate. I think autumn is the best time to wear this fragrance and I certainly will be wearing it more often because like I said, I think it would make for a great office fragrance, but I think it's also the type of fragrance where that sweetness lends itself to the colder weather. So I see myself wearing this over the next few months, especially October and November. I think it would be the perfect match. I think this one can be worn formally, but casually as well. I think it's interesting enough to be worn in both departments. And also it's affordable enough, especially if you opt for the smaller bottle like I did 
This time around, I often buy the 4.2 ounce. This time I bought the 2.5 or whatever it is. And I think that this one is kind of masculine, but again, these are just recommendations. Please wear it what you want. And like I said many times earlier on in the review, I do think that this is going to work much better on a younger demographic. In terms of the presentation, I think it's pretty cool as long as it's intact. And my final verdict on this fragrance is I think it's a very nice and pleasant release from the company John Barbados. I personally have some that I really enjoy, like the Platinum Edition. I like Vintage. I like the original. I like many of John Varvatos' fragrances. The only ones that really didn't work on my skin are like Dark Rebel and Dark Rebel Writer, although I love the bottling and the aesthetic behind those fragrances, and I know there's a market for those out there. But this one is a pleasant release, especially if you're a fan of fragrances that lean in slightly sweeter territory, but still have that dark edge to them. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was my review of John Barbados 20 or XX. If you own or have tried this fragrance recently, I would love to know what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time.